when he said that, I was just like, four days? I, I'm not ready in four days. I'm looking all cute now, but now I got all this hair on my floor. So what do I do? What what, what do I do? <laughs> no worries. Level It has my back. Shout out to Level It for sponsoring this video. And I'm just so excited to show you guys this cordless stick vacuum, which I am so in love with just off of one use. This is so easy to put together. I love cordless vacuums. Y'all already know I have a Dyson vacuum. And yeah, this one is definitely to compare. Definitely puts the Dyson to the test. It's very easy. All you do is turn it on and look at that. Got the hair up like magic. It just collects everything into the little, you know, compartment. And what I really love about this vacuum is that it transfers to hard floors and it cleans up hard floors so good. Like, y'all, I think this is going to be my main vacuum for downstairs now because I know we have um, hardwood floors in the main living area now. And it just cleaned up the floor so good way better than my Dyson ever did okay like for real for real so I love that and I also love that it has that light on it like girl you can clean in the dark especially having kids you you know you accidentally suck things up but with the little light on it you can see exactly what you're cleaning up and I just love love that little feature like so cool so dope the suction on this vacuum was amazing what I love about cordless is that it's portable you can take it on your steps take it in your car um that you know Know, give you the different attachments so that way you can clean corners and everything and you don't have to worry about lagging a cord behind you okay that's why i will never go back to like a traditional vacuum i just love cordless vacuum cleaners and this one is just it takes the cake like y'all love love this vacuum i cannot say it enough so to dump this vacuum is super easy. All you do is take off that top portion, dump out the canister, shake out all that dirt. You can also remove this um, filter portion, easy filter. All you have to do is rinse it out every two to three uses, take the hair out, put it back together, bam, that's it. Charging this vacuum is super easy. You just plug it up, those lights on the front tell you how charged or not charged it is. You can also mount it up on the wall, which I plan to do really soon, put it in my laundry room. So it can have that nice, you know, sleek look or whatever. And that is it, y'all. I love this vacuum so much. I give it five stars, like seriously. Click those links down below if you're interested in the Level It Cordless Stick Vacuum. And yeah, let's go ahead and jump into the vlog. <laughs> getting this taken care of today, okay? At the Juicy Crow! This is all our first time here. Yeah! And the kids are not, oh my God, just went up to, oh Lord, right here. Yeah. Jesus, Jesus, this is for the kids. I'm just cheesing, like, roll my sleeves. Thank you. Thank you. You the only one back. Just 
That was disrespectful. Okay, that was. <laughs> that was disrespectful. Oh my god, go away, go back to that. That was disrespectful. Yeah. I wanna cry. <laughs> yes, ma'am, look where I get the part. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Y'all, low key, I'm ready to go to bed after that food. That was so. I don't even have the right word for it. It wasn't even just good. Like, that just was. Mm, 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 mm. Y'all know how I feel about my crab and everything. So, oh, the fact that I live by a juicy crab. This was, this was a mistake. This this is what this was. It was a mistake. Okay, they should not. No, no. <laughs> um, yeah, I live by a juicy crab, y'all. See, my sister calling me. Hello? Oh, we're right here in front of you. Where? Right in front of you. <laughs> is this you? You ain't in front of me. <laughs> oh, no. That, oh, that ain't her. Uh-uh. You flash my bike. Oh, that is you. I was looking at the car right in front of me. Okay, yeah, y'all in front of me. Okay. All right. Okay. Bye. I don't even remember what I was talking about. We at the mall. I'm really ready to go to sleep. I'm tired now. But we're going to go ahead and go. Uh, probably just let the boys play in a little play yard. Okay, because y'all need to run y'all little energy out. That's what I was saying because our sleep schedule. It is a play place in here. And Al just, he, he working on my nerve because he thinking he know everything. And that I don't know nothing. He, you wanna go play? Okay. Every, he asks me a question and then I tell him what the answer is and he be like, no it's not. And Well why you ask me bro? I, Al, for, who wants a four year old? That's all I gotta say. I'll keep Isaac for now. Somebody can take the four year old. Somebody can take him. And it's starting to rain out here. Oh, this is the Sugar Loaf Meals Mall. It's the first time coming here. Now, do you believe me, Al? Talking about some, this is not the mall. Oh, the carousel. You want to go in there? Come on. You want to go? Go to your mama. Okay. Ready, Isaac? We ready. Here we go, Al. It's working. It's working. About to head at. You want to go to the bathroom? Wigs, <laughs> cute, cute. They got wigs up in here. <laughs> hey, oh, we look like some cute stuff in there. Got a little jump place right here. Be a nice little spot to take the kids. Ooh, you got a car? A dollar? What? 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 It's not working. They both a dollar. <laughs> Go, L. Say hi. <laughs> yep, we don't have to go see some. <laughs> I'm gonna take them to see that Sonic movie on Valentine's Day. It'll be my little Valentine's dates. This is just us anyway. Oh my God. I am so tired. Girl, I'm 28 weeks. Feeling like I'm about 37. Like I'm just so. But I just been feeling so much pressure. So much like I just can't walk around for too long. Um, Alexander, wait a second. Feeling so much pressure. Oh, I can't walk for too long. I need to sit down again. I feel like. And let me tell y'all what Al said the other day. What did you say, Al? About your baby sister? He said she was coming in four days. 
He said, baby sister gotta get out. I said, yeah. She gonna come out and then he said she's coming out in four days. Why did you say that? Huh? You, you don't even know why you said that? I don't know. I'll be, I'm kind of... Huh. Girl, I thought he was trying to... Huh? Oh, let's go, let's go. Come on, I'm fine with y'all. Go ahead. Don't wait on me. I'm gonna catch up. I'm gonna catch up. I'm so tired. <laughs> I'm so tired, but ow. That kind of caught me off guard because lately I've been having not Braxton Hicks. It's just like so much pressure, like down there. Like she is like really heavy down there. And just been feeling like, oh, it, and you just never know with Al because he is the one. This smells so good right here. He is the one that told me I was pregnant before I knew, before I had an inkling, before I even just, girl, he was the one that told me it was a baby in my belly. And he also knew that it's a, it was a girl. Oh, because he was like, it's a, it's a girl, that's my baby sister. Like he is, I guess, psychic <laughs> or something. He was already speaking. Oh, this is where we came in at? Oh yeah. We about to go, I'm all about to close. But he was already just knowing stuff, very prophetic, okay. And when he said that, I was just like, four days? I, I'm not ready in four days. She ain't even got a nursery. And I hope she don't, you know, come now. Cause I'd be premature, she'd be premature. Only 28 weeks, so that's not ideal, you know, for a baby to come out. Uh-uh, hold this hand. Oh, I don't know. Let's hope and pray that his four days, maybe he got it in a dream or revelation or something meant at least four weeks, at least a little further along. You know, at least full term. Let's hope, let's hope that's what his four days meant. Cause maybe he seen something, you know, like had a vision. Cause Abby knows stuff. he's very gifted, very spiritual. And maybe he's seen some four, a four somewhere. <laughs> I don't know, maybe he heard it, I don't, I don't know. I hope that don't happen, but I honestly wouldn't be surprised with like how I've just been feeling. Lord. Get these kids to stay laying down and going to sleep. Leave me alone. They done bust up in here on me about two times. They done finessed their way to get some popcorn from their TT. I don't know how they managed to do that. Lay down. Go to sleep. And most importantly, leave me alone. Just I'm just trying to get a little bubble. Can I can can I get just a little? in my bubbles why are you touching my bubbles you already took a bath i gave y'all a nice bubble bath before i gave myself one so why are you in here why are you still up is the real question that's what i want to know i put that lavender epsom salt in your bath your eyes is low i know you sleeping i know you didn't have a long day you ain't took no nap Why you not sleep? I'm confused. Inquiring minds will never. 